Sure. Give me a few here for critiques. Mal, how did it go? What did you think? Talk, tell them about your pictures. What happened? Yeah, tell them what happened with the pictures. Okay. One of the things, though, that we need to do, people, I totally understand where she's coming from. Start them earlier. During office hours, try to do that, run it up, so we can work together to get that fixed. When it becomes the day of your speech, I don't have a whole lot of pity because I'm thinking, you have a ton of time to work. You got a ton of time to help with me on those office hour days. Use that as she hides behind certain heads so she can avoid me. But it was like, you establish that credibility in the beginning. You've got to do that, sunshine. You guys, have the blank first slides. Have a black one or just something, just your name. Tell the story and then bring it up. I'll tell the story about how Lila's addicted to her phone and plays on it when I'm talking all the time. Even though that would be a fairy tale, that wouldn't be true. No, there's no way. Lila, if you see anybody on their phones while I'm talking, bust them for me, will you? But have the attention getter, you guys. There's nothing worse than that when you uh, start right out. My speech today is about, it's like me walking into an English class. Today we're going to learn to write an essay. Students don't do backflips. They immediately put up a negative. But if I talk about how angry I was with the situation with liars, people who lie, and I let you incorporate it, and suddenly I come to you and it's like, now I tell you, here's the information you need to know about how to tell if someone's lying. And the number one cue is when they look down and away, when they try to tell you something, they shun, or they hide behind people's heads. A little bit soft, sunshine, but you had good eye contact, a couple uhs, no big deal, but you were very natural. You had good slides. The pictures would have been amazing. When she listed those seven steps, to me, in a perfect world, there's a picture of you doing one of the steps. Then the next slide goes to a picture of you doing another step or a friend of yours doing it. Give it that personal touch as it comes in. But I thought it was really cool because you said, and I, this is such a... I don't want to call it you tried manipulation, but this is how it came off. I waited till last night so they would be fresh. That's the best one I've ever heard. I'm not buying it, but the best one, because you can still cook these a few days ahead in advance and put bread inside of them. They'll still be moist and different things. But sorry about the picks. Do them ahead of time. You brought samples. Fat man happy. Those were good, too. No vanilla, though. There was no vanilla. Thought she made some vanilla ones. I just told my stomach there was vanilla coming in chocolate. Yeah, <sighs> Miranda, how do you think it went? Are you me all right. Did you like or no? What? Did you like it or no? What would you change? What'd you like? I didn't think I'll Oh, you were zigging, woman. You were doing your fire licks and things and yeah. zipping and then kind of slowing down. You were moving. I wrote that down. That's okay. Shows you were excited. Yeah, you can slow down a little bit. <clears throat> get that credibility in because knowing you they set you down and you took off running when you were a child you've been doing it let us know exactly when you started really getting into the cross country and the running type of thing i like the quote that you had to draw our attention in when you talked about it being an uncomfortable thing is true you're growing if you're not comfortable you know we stay in our comfort zones we don't tend to grow i could hear you you're a little soft and you were moving fast so if we slow it down and speak up you'll be better Eye contact, a little bit more of us, but you were very natural up here with your stance, with your movement. It was energetic. I thought you had really good pictures. They were personalized. They were of you. You gave us a lot of information to think about when we talked about, because um, you knew your topic well. I mean, you went right down the list, and I'm sitting here as I'm watching this. It was one of the most detailed ones that I've seen, uh, which is good when you do that. I have no intention of running. No, it's not happening. So you didn't sell me on that, but good for you. I'm glad you do. Lens, what you think? Too fast. Too fast. Minute 32? It's like a subway going by. A little short, but that's okay. You did establish your credibility and you did it very early. You went straight up. I've been doing this ever since. And you didn't nail it down. So ever since I learned to start baking, which was kind of like I put you in Molly's category, maybe you just learned to start baking on Monday. But I'm assuming it was a little girl walking around the kitchen, mom, maybe grandma type of thing. But you gave it a good shot there. Get the attention getter in. I want personal pictures of you baking it and making it with stories to go. One of the stories, you guys, when I talk about stories of baking, my friend I grew up with, her mom passed on Monday last week. And my other best friend I grew up with, his mom passed on Wednesday. And we were talking on the phone. And I still remember your mom getting so upset because I was baking a cake with their oldest daughter at 3 in the morning. 
and we dropped the cake mix on the rug. And it was the only one we had. We had to have the cake ready for the morning. So Mar Margie looked at me. I looked at her. We folded the rug up and dumped it into the, the whatchamacallit, tried to pick out hairs and stuff. Oh, and she's nice. dying laughing. I'm going, we're dead. Well, their mom got up, the one who just passed, and saw a couple hairs sticking out of the cake. She thunked Margie in the head because she was asleep on the couch. I was asleep on the floor, and she's kicking me. She's going, why are there hairs in this cake? And we both start cracking up, and then Margie told her. So she got up early, went to the store, came back and baked a whole new cake. There's a story about what went on with baking that I'll always remember, where you're personalizing it, making people feel. That's what I'm looking at. Speak up a touch, you're a little soft, a little bit of rocking going on, but get that personal stories in there and add, because you're way short, sunshine. CO? Go the way you planned? Yeah. Yeah. What would you change if I let you redo it? Yeah, that would be cool. If you got personal pictures of you in there and stuff and personalize it. You know, the other thing you can do, and I have no problem, you guys. We could have gone down to the volleyball court if you had it set up, let some of these bozos set and see just exactly how hard it is when that comes down to that. I got no problem moving venues and stuff, so that's good. Just would have sucked if we had to go out today. But you immediately nailed your credibility. You had sixth grade, and I'm like, okay, here we go. So you've been doing it quite a bit, and you explained why you're setting, which is kind of cool. Need that attention getter, draw it in. You looked at almost everybody. Uh, gestures helped with what you did with the setting, especially when you tried to show the double with the right left. A couple of uhs and ums, but not that big deal. Get the blank first slide. I would love to see pictures of you competing, but I love that graph of attack points, positionings, as it came across to the six with the color codings. And then your tempo graph, that was phenomenal to teach. You were teaching at that point because people can visualize those things. That's a lot different than when I used to coach because I had JV, so I only broke it into four zones. So we had one temp two tempos, high, low, is all we would do, but you do that. But you knew the topic so well and you were so comfortable talking about it. I pictured you possibly like helping the middle school kids or elementary kids teaching that, even though I could also see you just making them run laps because I could just see you doing that. Okay.